Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the commodities market for Friday, the, uh, the 13th, November 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe to, by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We also have a signal service over at Patreon. We have over 60 traders, active traders there at the moment. And you're welcome to join that. You'll get access to the full technical analysis if you do as well. So we'll start out by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, uh, we have been back and forward in the US dollar index today. Uh, at this point, technical indicators for the US dollar index are basically turning. And that means that we haven't tested the 50 moving average yet. It was expected to, uh, to go and test the 50 moving average and probably break the 50 moving average. But at this point, it looks like we are running out of steam and we're turning around and trading sideways or going back down. So you can just look at the MACD, it's taking it flat, the stochastic is flat, the CCI is flat, and so is the, the same as goes, goes for the RSI. Especially the CCI should be a big warning here that we are running into quite a lot of resistance in this area here, and there's not a lot of room to the upside. And of course, if we turn around here, that means that this will be uh, quite positive for uh, the price of oil, the price of gold, and also indices and, uh, and so on. So pay attention to the US dollar index. Even though we break down from here, we'll find massive support around uh, 92. And if we break the 50 moving average, we'll go to 93, 94, and then to around 94.7. After that, all the way to the 200 moving average. But as you can see, we're running into resistant here just uh, at the 50 moving average. So I have done some changes to uh, my commodities analysis. I have deleted uh, copper. I have deleted um, platinum. And uh, the reason for that is because nothing's really happening there. And it's technically pointless just continuing doing analysis at this point as there's nothing happening there. I've added uh, uh, palladium and I've added also cotton to this analysis, which are far better trades at this point. And there's more action uh, to be seen in those uh, commodities. So we'll start by looking at oil, which is always a very interesting commodity to trade. And as you can see, we have run into major resistant up here at the round for $43 uh, dollars a barrel, and we are turning around at this point. So this is a very, very negative candle. And at any point in time, I would be definitely be a seller in this market. But there's just so much news at the moment. And there's so choppy trading for oil at the, at the moment as well, that it is, it's very difficult and very risky to trade. But this is certainly a very negative or bearish candle. And this is most likely a market that is going to test the 50 moving average. And if that breaks, we'll go back towards the 200 moving average. Uh, and that should be major support there because at the 50, uh, 200 moving average, we also find these two areas of major support. But a break of this level, which is at 37, uh, opens the door to these very lows of 33. Uh, we will eventually get there. This rally was absolutely stupid. It was based on, for example, a vaccine, which at this point is questionable due to the fact that the CEO of the company that produces the, the vaccine just sold most of his stocks in that company. And then you can question why in the world if you just um, made uh, such an important vaccine, would you start selling your stock in that company? Those stocks should be extremely valuable uh, on forward because they will certainly earn a lot of money from it. So that is into question. And um, as long as that is the case um, and the world economy is doing as badly as is, very bad data from the, from the US today as well, um, then we are most likely going back towards the 50 moving average at this point. 
looking at technical indicators, they are starting to look very dreadful. CCI is turning around, and that should be a warning. The stochastic is turning around. MACD is basically becoming flat, hasn't crossed the signal line yet, and so is the RSI is also getting flat. We're at 56, so there's a lot of room to the downside in this market. We could see a market that goes, and this will be the uh, last real effort to go higher. We didn't even get close to, to breaking these highs. So this may be the last chance that we'll see these highs for a very long time. And now we'll break definitely further down. So we look at natural gas. Natural gas has broken down quite significantly, around 2% at the end of the US session. And at this point, we are most likely going back towards this trend line. That, you should, that happens often, uh, that you basically rally, and then you pull back, and then you rally again. There's no reason to expect this to, to break the trend line or break the 50 moving average. Um, because we were entering the uh, cold period, um, winter months and so on. And, uh, well, you use a lot of natural gas in order to heat your, your homes and, and uh, facilities and, and so on. So, at this point, technical indicators are a little bit mixed. CCI has turned around and so, so has the RSI. But the, the, and so is the MACD, is also fairly bearish at this point. But the stochastic is still bullish. Um, this is just wait until it gets towards the trend line or to the 50 moving average in order to see a candlestick similar to this one in order to step in and buy. So until it gets down there, there's no reason to do anything. Just get it as cheap as possible. There's no reason to sell this. Um, if we break the 50 moving average, then of course we are going lower, but we are not even close to, to break the 50 moving average at this point. So yes. Buying on the dips, that is the, that is the way to go. So we'll look at one of our, our new trades, and that is Palladium. So the reason why I said this is an um, interesting trade, or more interesting than copper, which doesn't really do anything at, the, at this point, is because we are, um, we are bouncing off the 50 moving average. We have done so in this uh, commodities for several months, all the way back to, uh, well, all the way back to here, which is around uh, May, mid-May, we have basically been bouncing off the 50 moving average. And that is an interesting trade. We have a major support line here, which we are getting very close to. We have just broken through the 50 moving average. And if we get close to this trend line there, that is a, a good opportunity to enter this market uh, with a buy. Um, if we bounce from the 50 moving average here, then of course we'll go and, and looking for these highs of 2.5 to 1. And um, yes, this is a market that is quite interesting to, to trade in. At this point, we are looking at a market that has a high of 2.5 and a low at this point around here at 2.171. So we are trading a little bit sideways. We're still in this uptrend here. So if we get close to this line here, this will most likely bounce and we'll head towards this line here. So, so we're not far off. This is a possible trade. This is not definitely, this is not a sell trade. This is a buy trade because we are in uptrend here. So Wait until we get down to this trend line here, or if we bounce from this 50 moving average. Technical indicators for palladium is uh, are quite negative at this point. Stochastic is uh, uh, is uh, bearish, the same as the CCI, and the RSI is technically flat, and the, so is the MACD. So wait until we have a pullback. Most likely will go down here. That is basically the best thing that could happen. And then buy up towards 2.5. So if you look at gold. Gold markets have rallied yet again today. We're still waiting for this market to go a little bit lower. 
or in this case for the 200 moving average in order to get close to this um, to this um, uh, price level. So we are having a lot of resistance above here. So quite difficult to get through this area here. And at this point, also quite difficult to get through this area here. Well, that area there. So there. This is your bottom at this point. This is your, uh, this is your top. What? I'm looking for is basically a pullback towards this 200 moving average or the 1800 uh, price level in order to buy for a long uh, period. This is a this is a market that is in the uptrend. We have been trading a little bit sideways for the last few weeks or a few months, I can say, but we are definitely in an uptrend. And in the coming years or coming months and coming years, we're going to see the central banks are going to flood the market with cheap liquidity and that is going to of course be very bullish for this market um, at this point uh, we are just running out of steam we need uh, the us dollar for example to uh, depreciate and as long as it's basically trading sideways we'll see also a lot of choppiness in the uh, gold market so at this point also a trade that you pay pay attention to Fall back toward the 1800 level. That is basically the trade that we're looking for. So look at silver. Silver is very similar. We have enormous amount of resistance above here, this area, and we have quite a lot of uh, support underneath around uh, $22 range. We're also looking for silver to drop towards the 200 moving average or towards the $20 range in order to buy for, for long. So quite a lot of waiting to do. There's no reason to enter this market at this point, neither with a sell or a buy. So this is just have an alert down here at the $20 range. If it gets there, buy, because this is going to go much longer in the long run. So if you look at Kakoa, we can see that we have uh, we have declined uh, in the price even further today as expected. Technical indicators for Kokoa are looking even more dire, and that is a sign that we are at least going to test these very lows here, which is at 2.233. And if that breaks, we are going to the very lows at 2.0. And it could start selling here towards this area. It is a small trade, or you can start selling now and try to get this area here. But this could bounce from this price level. It is possible that we'll turn around here. So just keep that in mind that it is possible that we'll bounce from there and then head up and then go back down. But eventually we'll most likely go back to the very bottom. And that is where the real interesting trade starts because we are working in an area of 2.7 and a low at 2.0. And at this point, we are basically trending downwards towards the 2.0. And if we bounce from there, then we're going to head all the way back towards the 200 moving average, the 550 moving average. And if those break, all the way back to 2.7. So that is the best trade to do is basically buy here, sell here. So if you look at at um, sugar we can see that we have rallied quite significantly today well tell you what we're doing at the moment we are trading sideways so we are trading at the highs of 0 0.15 and we're trading at the lows at 0 0.13 um, what are we looking for is basically a drop at least towards these lows, which is fairly close to the 50 moving average. Um, because to enter the market here, it is quite risky. We, if we rally, then we'll, of course, we'll, uh, if we break from out from here, then of course we'll go higher. But a pullback towards the 50 moving average is, is what is the trade that I'm looking for. I'm not really interested in seeing. Uh, buying here and rallying because that will only make the fall that much bigger but a pullback towards the 50 moving average here 
something similar to this and then go higher from there. That is the safe and the most profitable trade that you basically can do. It is not certain that we're going to get that trade, but that is what you should be looking for. Uh, and, and there's basically where you earn money. To enter a trade here, that is more gambling than trading. So, so have a strategy and don't gamble. Uh, at this point, technical indicators are all over the place. MACD is basically negative. The stochastic is never negative. CCI is quite bullish, and so is the RSI is also quite bullish. Uh, we have a massive long trend line here. So if we were to break through the 50 moving average and all the way down towards this trend line, what we did right here, then that would be an absolutely amazing uh, uh, entry for a uh, uh, buy that you can hold for probably several months. So wait for a pullback. That is the that is what I'm going to do here. So we have wheat, and that is this is getting really interesting. We have fallen significantly today, over 2%. At this point, we are reaching a point where we almost are oversold. Not yet, but we're getting there. Technical indicators are still looking very bearish at this point, and therefore, I have not entered this market yet. But we are getting very close. We can see that we are basically on the brink of this trend line and we have the 50 moving average right underneath. So what we are looking for here is a very positive candle on the four hour chart or the one hour chart, which will signal that we are going to turn around. And when we turn around, that's gonna we're going to basically bounce to the upside very aggressively. It's something similar to this. We're going to have a massive candlestick that is going to be uh, 3, 5, 6% to, to the upside. That may take one, two, three more trading days. It could basically be something similar to this and then basically explode to the upside. If it looks like this area here is supportive and nothing happens more to the downside, then that is a very good indication that we are going further. We are in an uptrend and uh, until further, uh, this has been our our trend line and it has uh, been supportive for a very long time now. And if we break below this, then of course we're heading towards the 200 moving average. But at this point, this is a trade that is very interesting. So if you look at cotton as a new commodity in this market, so this is also a very, very interesting trade. We have a resistant or support line here, which we have broken to a certain degree, a little bit. We have crossed it. And that means that we are heading towards the 50 moving average. And if we bounce from the 50 moving average, then we are going to at least these highs again of 0 0.699 and probably to the very highs of 0 0.72. Two, um, I like trading this market. They are predictable. You have highs, lows, high lows. We are trading basically in a channel at this point, and there's nothing more funny to trade than a, a channel. So we have the very highest here a breakdown, and then we can basically do something like that, something similar to this. So very aggressive trading to the upside. At this point, we have quite a lot of pullback. Technical indicators in this market are looking very negative. So we may see a market that goes all the way towards the 50 moving average before we bounce. Of course, a break of the 50 moving average opens the door to this price level here, which was a previous area where we were trading sideways before we had this massive breakout there. But similar to wheat and other trades, wait until you get close to the 50 moving average if you see these indicators especially the cci turning around and you have a nice candle on the fourth and two and or one hour chart then it's a sign that we are going to turn and we're not going to break down further so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos um good luck and thank you very much Thank <music> you.